It's great to be here, great to have everyone here. It's hard to believe that uh, another spring practice is winding up, and hopefully on Friday the weather will be uh, will cooperate with us. We should have a fine day. It's supposed to be in the 60s and sunny. Uh, you know, it's been a good spring for us offensively so far. Uh, I've been coaching over 20 years now, and this has probably been the smoothest spring that we've had. And uh, really, it's because of two factors. First of all, we've had more returning starters back than I believe at any time in my career. You know, if you go back to the last three or four games of last year when Will Shaw replaced David Rogers at tight end because of David's injury, you know, we really got 11 starters back uh, from last season at the end of last year. So that was a great starting point for us. You know, the other thing has been, I think, the having a Watts facility. You know, it's been very uh, beneficial to our development in the off season. I think when you're in a situation where we are in this part of the country and you have trouble getting out outside and doing some things in January, February, and March, to have a facility like the Watts is, uh, is very beneficial to us. And I know our kids have really put a lot of time and effort into using that facility and it showed. You know, we've, usually it takes throughout the first week or two of camp to get going as far as the passing game is, just because you haven't been able to do a lot of it uh, through the offseason. But I know our quarterbacks and receivers and skilled guys on offense have used it a lot in the offseason, and I think it's, it's really uh, beneficial to us and it's shown throughout spring practice. Uh, you know, starting up front for us offensively, uh, we did have five starters coming back uh, in the spring. Uh, Lamar Mady has been out with an injury. He has knee surgery after the season, and we've held him out for the majority of spring practice. He was our starting left guard last year, came in from uh, junior college and started for us last year. Uh, and also Andrew Radakovich, our starting left tackle, got injured the first uh, week of practice and has missed most of the spring. Uh, but we've been very pleased with the guys that have stepped in for them, uh, most notably Andrew Cinco and Fred Herdman have stepped in on that left side of the line. And, and really, we felt like we haven't missed, missed much of a beat there uh, as far as our play up front, which I think is going to be really good for us as we go throughout the season. And uh, as far as depth is concerned at that position, and we've got some other guys, uh, Zach Collins played center, some other guys have played uh, a lot of time. Brandon Ferguson, a local product here, has, has improved tremendously. And I think we've had 10 or 11 offensive linemen here throughout the spring, so we've been able to be too deep. We did sign five freshman or junior college players at that position. Those are guys that we're looking to come in. Uh, we'd probably like to redshirt most of the freshmen if we could. Uh, Dana Harris, the, the junior college offensive lineman coming in, is probably you know, going to have to step on the field for us at some point. Uh, so we feel good about the future of, of that position, especially with the development of some of those younger guys. Uh, tight end wise, I think. Uh, I told a lot of people I wish we had Will Shaw for another year. He's made a, uh, he's made us a better football team being tight end. He gives us a guy that can really stretch the field. He gives us a different dimension of tight end that maybe we haven't had the last couple of years. I think you saw a big factor. Uh, you saw him be a big factor for us at the end of last year. I think he caught three touchdown passes the last three or four games. Uh, Carson Shaw Bar has really improved. And uh, Nate Adams is coming back along with Jordan Marcota, uh, Richard Freshman from Ursuline here in town. So I think we feel really good at that position. You know, we're a, a team that likes to be very multiple on offense, and we'll jump anywhere from four wide to two tight ends in any second. So to have those tight ends uh, that can do that for us makes us a lot more dangerous. Uh, running back wise, obviously, has been a position that we've been very deep over the last three years. Uh, Jermaine Cook has had a, a really good offseason and has, has made, uh, you know, it, it's hard when you look at it and say a guy has rushed for about 2,500 yards the last two years to make that much improvement, but he has. I think he's worked really hard on uh, his vision, his cutting ability. I know he's really tried hard to, to become faster, and I think you should see even more improvement from him. Uh, Darius Bellamy uh, has played a lot for us the last two years. He had surgery right after the season. We held him out the spring. We hope to get him back late in the summer, uh, early towards uh, the start of the season. We're really unsure of where he's going to be to learn some, how, how quickly he progresses over the next four or five months. 
Jordan Thompson has played a lot of football for us. Uh, he's a tremendous football player and makes us that much better. I think him competing with Jermaine Cook in there makes Jermaine that much better. Uh, DeMond Hines, a local product from Warren Hardy that uh, we have very high hopes for. He got injured, uh, I think it was last week. He's going to miss the last half of uh, spring practice, but I think he's a guy that you're going to see a lot of in the fall. He just tweaked his ankle, but he should be ready to go. You know, if we practice another week or two, he'd probably be back. And uh, Torian Pace uh, is another young man that's been in the program for a couple of years, hasn't got much playing time, but he's been probably one of the surprises for us this spring. So uh, I think we're pretty good there at that position, and uh, we're always trying to get those guys. I think the biggest thing for us is trying to get those guys on the field. We talked about coming out last season, how we probably need to spell to make cook a little bit more and keep him fresh for later in the game. So you know, we'll probably roll those guys earlier during the season. Uh, Receiver-wise, I think we've seen great improvements. I think that's been a group that uh, kind of has been top-heavy the last couple of years as far as we've had a couple of top guys and then there's been a big drop-off. I think we feel pretty good coming out with our top six or seven right now. It's a very young group. Jelani Barasa will be a junior. He's the oldest guy along with, well, he'll be a redshirt junior. And Kevin Watts, who played for us the last two years, will be a true junior. Uh, Christian Bryant has had a great spring. You know, he led us as a, as a true freshman last year in receiving. Uh, Andre Stubbs is going to be a great addition for us. Uh, he would have been a huge factor for us last year. He got hurt in the opening kickoff of the third game, so it's going to be good to get him back have him back for four years. Uh, and then we've got our contention of South Carolina receivers, uh, Control Disher, Andrew Williams, and Brandon Thomas that give us a lot of depth at that position. I think we're seeing great improvement from those guys. Those were guys that, uh, especially Disher and Williams, that were kind of a tall, lankier, taller, lankier guys that needed to put on weight and strength. And, and uh, Dish is about 207 pounds right now. Andrew Williams still has a lot of weight to put on. Those guys, I think, can be really good there. We've got some guys coming in that can help us there. And last but not least, the quarterback position. You know, Curtis had a tremendous spring so far, uh, following up a great sophomore year. He's got a really good understanding of what we're doing offensively. And, uh, you know, I think he's looking forward to You know, he's the type of guy that makes everybody around him better. Uh, he's a great leader for us. He's really developed into a, not only a, a really good player, but a great leader for us. And I look forward to watching him progress even more. Patrick Angle right now, a redshirt, will be a redshirt sophomore from Logan, Ohio, down there. Ohio University has made great strides through the spring. It's really come on, I think, the last four or five practices. He had a really good scrimmage last Saturday. Uh, strong kid. He's probably got the, maybe the strongest arm out of all of them. Uh, he's becoming better fundamentally. And <coughs> he's doing a good job leading our offense. I've tried to get him as many reps as I could with the ones last two weeks and he's really responded there. And then Dante Nania, who's a registered freshman from, Pitt, uh, from Pittsburgh, that uh, uh, you know he's a guy that's just like a bunch of young quarterbacks who are trying to learn not only uh, the offense but all the things that the defense has given us. And he's made strikes. You know, he's practiced really well the last couple weeks. Uh, he's got a ways to go a little bit as far as just still understanding our offense, but he's got a big time arm and is really athletic and, and uh, can give us another day. There. So, you know, I feel really good with where we are offensively. I think the biggest thing for us, I tell our guys all the time, is, you know, we've been pretty good on paper the last couple of years, but we can't become complacent just because we have 11 starters back. I think uh, people realize that we do have some talent offensively. We're going to get everybody's best shot week in and week out. Uh, and we've been very fortunate, too. I've said this, that, you know, we've been fortunate that we have not had many injuries, but are not on the road here. Uh, throughout the last two years, but at some point, uh, you know, we're going to lose a guy. Hopefully you don't lose somebody for a year, but, you know, if you lose somebody for a game or two, you've got some guys that can step in, and we've been very fortunate that we have, haven't really lost anybody the last couple of years for any extended period of time that's been a start. And, uh, you know, I've always felt like you're only as good as your backup quarterback, too. I've been in some situations where we've had to go to our second quarterback early in the year. I've been two years where we've had to go to the third quarterback by the middle. So, you know, those guys, I can tell Patrick Dang or Dante all the time, we want to play away, but I think sometimes until they get thrown in the fire there, they don't understand it. So, and I think it's where we are offensively. We've got to have those.
those six, seven, and eight linemen ready to start. You know, we've got to be ready to uh, have three or four backs that we can play all the time and, and six or seven receivers. I think if we come out of spring feeling good about our depth, then you know, we've got a chance to keep improving. So, open up for questions. Trey, you almost use this as, as a fall practice because I know you're teaching, but you've got so many guys back. I mean, you kind of implement, not game plan, but those types of things this time of year? Well, I, you know, not as much game planning. I, I know one thing, I've never thrown this much in an offense uh, at any time in my career. Uh, we've gotten about everything that we could possibly get in. You know, we went out and visited some places in the, in the, in the, in the winter. And, you know, any time, even though when you have success, you're always trying to look for a few wrinkles uh, to put them, uh, in your offense. And, you know, we feel like we've got a couple things that can help us. But, you know, we've thrown everything at them. You know, I think it was, you know, like I said, they, they worked really hard at the off season. We do have a lot of guys that come back with playing time, so I think they're a lot more confident. We're able to throw much more at them than we have in the past. Uh, you know, we looked at some things that, you know, there's still some things on the board that, you know, we'll look at early in fall camp. But, you know, the biggest thing, too, is, you know, our kids have been practicing everything. So, you know, in certain in, in past summers, maybe you didn't give them everything to work on. I think where we're at right now, you know, we can give them everything that they've possibly seen and they can work on that through the summer. So that when we start in fall camp, you know, we're, we're way ahead of the curve. And uh, so I, I just like where we're at offensively as far as really retention, you know, retaining things. Uh, we've had very few mental uh, busts throughout spring practice, and, and, uh, and that's correlation to what those guys have done in the offseason. They work really hard and they've studied hard. And they've been good kids to, you know, they know we're, you know, we are far from a finished product, but I think they realize how far we can go. Coach Wolford has touched on it a few times, but um, the need to be able to finish drives late in games. How do you address that in the spring and then you will move forward in the summer? Yeah, the question was talking about finishing. You know, that was probably one his weakness maybe when we came out last year, one thing we looked at was we had a chance probably three or four games to finish a game. A uh, couple games we were able to win, a couple games we couldn't hold on to a lead. I think that's, you know, as, as we went throughout the, the winter, we talked to different people. I think that's a common theme. It's hard to do. Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing is, you know, as far as me being a coordinator, you, you, you go back and look at it, you know, when you got a chance to win games, you know, you want to be conservative at times, but at other times, you know, you're going to need to throw the ball. And uh, so we're looking at ways that maybe can help that situation. You know, the good thing for us, I think we have enough players where we can jump in and out of any personnel we wanted to. You know, we're, we're good enough in our four wide receiver package that if that's what we wanted to do, we can do that. Uh, we've got four tight ends right now that, that are getting some playing time, so if we wanted to get into a three or four tight end set and try to grind out the clock, we're able to do that. So, And I think the other thing, too, is having an offensive line back that's got that much experience. I think we can lean on those guys, too, with our running backs. And, uh, but we've studied that throughout the offseason. You know, I know we'll continue to study it in the summer. Uh, Coach Wolford does a great job of committing time to that throughout practice. And we get a lot of time. We did it probably four or five times this spring. So. It's just something that you got to keep keep doing. But you know, when it comes down to it, I think the biggest thing was we've got to execute. You know, in those situations, there were some times last year where you know you have to give credit to some defenses at times because they stop you. But other times, I, you know, we felt like you know maybe if we had done one thing a little bit better, or we had a mental breakdown, then we could have ran the game out. You know, you look at uh, you know, North Coast State, we were unable to get a couple first downs, and we were able to hold on. And Northern Iowa the week before we were unable to, and then they got scored. So, and those two games could have cost us a season. You know, I, I know looking back, you know, I told our guys after North Dakota State, you know, if we would have lost that game, you know, we would have really felt bad. We had no chance in the playoffs there against uh, the last game of the season. So, you know, we've got a lot to work on, but uh, we've got a good starting point. Do you think maturity alone can help that process? Or that maturity true? should, you know, being in that situation before. I know we're going to get as much, much practice as we can at that situation. So, yeah, I think so. You know, you've got a quarterback that, you know, has played a lot of football, too. So if you have to put it in his hands, you can put it in his hands. You know, we keep getting better receiver. 
you know, you just, you're not, uh, your hands aren't tied behind your back. You just don't have to line up and run the ball every time. You know, if you've got a quarterback you feel comfortable with or some big time receivers, and hey, we're going to have to drop back and throw the ball. You know, you look at the good teams, and sometimes you have to take chances. And uh, if they're going to crowd the box there, we might have to throw the ball and get that first down, you know, two minutes left. So, but I think maturity will play a big factor. Hopefully, they can get us over the there. You haven't been uh, very nice to Tracy's defense the first two scrimmages. So any plans to take it easy on them? <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, defensively, uh, it's been good to go, you know, go against those guys because they've been really aggressive and uh, they've shown us a lot of different looks. And, you know, not only when we go against a, a BCS opponent like a Michigan State or Pittsburgh, uh, and you go against a wide variety of different fronts and coverages and schemes in our league, uh, everything that they give us is going to help us a lot. And, uh, you know, the thing that you were talking about, you know, they've been, they've, we've had so many injuries on defense that, you know, hopefully we can get a lot of those guys back. I know that we'll see a much a different defense in the fall. You know, it's hard coming in. Like Coach Tracy said earlier, you know, we've been together for three years now. Um, you know, we're going to be a little bit more ahead of them as far as what we get in. And probably as far as execution, you know, it's just common nature. Uh, but they've got a lot of, we've got a lot of good young players on that side of the ball. Uh, we're going to be good enough scheme-wise uh, that we can match those players with us. But, you know, we're going to have a very good defense. And uh, you know, the biggest thing for us again is just, you know, we feel like we've got probably uh, enough talent to be successful. We're going to add some more talent in fall camp. Uh, but the mental part of the game is is probably you know once you once you get the players you want in your system, the mental part becomes sixty or seventy percent. Uh, it's a lot like the quarterback position. You know, hopefully we've recruited well enough that they're physically talented enough. Now do they know what to do, and, and if they do, can they play fast? And that's what's going to make us successful on either side of the ball.